All right, geometry, <clears throat> excuse me, 1-5, angle relationships. Let's go ahead and look at some basic, some basic ones. Let's start with an angle here, and uh, that's just a standard angle. And we're going to go ahead and throw something else on here. And so I'm going to label these A, B, C, and then we'll make the one in the, in the middle D. So I've actually got three angles here. I've got the two small ones and then the two small ones combined to make a bigger one. Um, there is a relationship where these two angles, because they are connected, um, is formed and it's called adjacent. Okay, these are adjacent angles because the relationship is one, they share a vertex. And two, they share a side. Okay, so the vertex that they would share would be vertex B, and the side that they would share would be side BD. Okay, so the adjacent angles in this case are the two smaller ones. So angle A, B, D is adjacent to angle C, B, D. Again, remembering to put your vertex in the middle. Notice that the B is in the middle of both of them. So they are both adjacent. They're touching. They share vertex. Aaron Jones, if you're in the building, please come to the office. Aaron Jones, come to the office. Pardon that interruption. I'm recording after school. Um, again, uh, angles A, B, D adjacent to angle C, B, D. And then we also have what's called a linear pair. Now, two very important, <clears throat> two very important uh, key words there. There's two of them, obviously, and the two of them are going to form a line. So let's start with something. Let's do let's do this one. And I'm going to put a little angle on the end of that. And then let's go back to this one. And let's look at it or like that. Again, I'm going to label <clears throat> I'm going to label A, B, C, and D. So I have two angles here. I have the smaller, actually I have three. I have the two small ones and then they combine for the line. So a linear pair, by definition, is two angles that form a line. two angles that form a line. So the linear pair in this one are ABD and CBD. Okay. Angle ABD and angle CD, CBD. Sorry. Linear pair, two angles that form a line. Our third relationship is vertical angles. And these are formed when I have two lines that intersect. So I'm going to label these with numbers. I'm going to label them 1, 2, 3, and 4. And just for simplicity's sake, call them 1, 2, 3, and 4. And so vertical angles are directly across from each other. So angle 1 and angle 3 are vertical angles. And then also angle 2 and angle 4 are vertical angles. And vertical angles have a very special relationship. They are congruent or equal. 
to each other. So I'm going to insert a congruency statement here. Again, we're going to use congruent a lot in geometry. Congruent is just the equal sign with the little half of a, or a little sideways S deal on top of it. So angle 1 and 3 are congruent, and angle 2 and 4 are congruent. Um, so that is vertical angles. All right, and the final two relationships we're going to talk about are complementary and supplementary angles. We have covered this in Algebra 1 just a bit, and also covered in, in pre-algebra, so we should be good with this one. Complementary angles are two angles whose sum, when I add them up, the sum is equal to 90 degrees. So what we're looking for, oh, I don't want to draw it that way. We're looking for a 90 degree angle. And there's only one way to know that that's 90 degrees, and that's if the book actually writes it as 90 degrees by putting the little box. And so if we call this, again, I'm just going to use my generic A, B, C, and D. I know that A, B, D and C, B, D are complementary because they add up to equal 90 degrees. And on the other hand, supplementary angles, their sum is going to equal 180 degrees. So just like our relationship uh, a couple pages back, supplementary angles are actually a linear pair. So they're going to add up to equal 180 degrees. So let's draw, let's get a little line here. I guess I could stay on that and uh, I'll go this direction with it this time. Okay, so now I have... Let's go with A, B, C, and D. Okay, so angle A, B, D and angle C, B, D are a linear pair, which makes them supplementary. Okay, I'm going to kind of throw everything in one example here. This is example number three on page 49. Um, you could go ahead and hit pause right now so you can write it down and then come back to me in just a moment. Okay, now that you're back, uh, some key things here. This sign over here, okay, the upside down T, that's a perpendicular sign, which means that PR and SQ are perpendicular, so they form right angles. So everything, this one, this one, this one, and this one, those are all 90 degrees. That's going to be very important in helping me find out what X and Y are. So I can start with y. I'm going to take the 4y minus 2. And looking at that, I know that that entire angle is 90 degrees. So I'm going to set it equal to 90 degrees. Solve this equation. Add 2 to both sides. I get 4y equals 92. I'm going to divide both sides by 4. So that tells me that y equals 23. So that's pretty simple. Just knowing the relationship um, of perpendicular and being 90 degrees. Now, the x is going to be just a little bit more difficult, but not too bad. I'm going to come down here. And I know that both of those angles are complementary because they add up to be 90 degrees. Okay, this entire area right here is going to be 90 degrees. So what I want to do is I want to add them together. 2x plus 5x plus 6 and set it equal to 90 degrees. That's going to give me 7x plus 6 equals 90 degrees. Subtract my 6. Seven x equals eighty-four. Divide both sides by seven. 
and that's going to give me a x value of 12. So back in my original space here, x equals 12. All right, that's chapter one, section five, angle relationships.